Listen, JJ, I want to get presents for Mikey and your mom. Can you please tell me what I can get them? I don't know. I'd give them both a new iPhone 15. Hmm, that's a good idea. I'll do it. Hey, Dad, will you get me an iPhone 2? No, of course not. I just gave you a soccer ball. There's enough presents for you. Hey, that's not fair. I want a new iPhone 2. You don't need an iPhone. Besides, I only have enough money for two iPhones. That's a shame. While Mikey brags about his iPhone at school, I'll be playing cheap and dumb ball. Oh, we've been spotted. Shh, no one heard anything. He heard everything. Why are you two hiding out here? Uh, nothing, Mikey. We were just hanging out and, uh, well, that's all. Yeah, just taking a walk. Ha ha ha. Let's go to bed already, Mikey. Yeah, it's bedtime for both of you. Yeah, it's getting late, Mikey. Let's go to bed. I'm so sleepy. Get the hell out of here. Okay, good night, Dad. Let's go to bed, JJ. Good night, Mikey. We didn't do anything. Good night, Dad. And yes, we were just talking about fun stuff. Yeah, I figured you guys had some secrets. I'm gonna find out sooner or later. The next day. You know, Mikey, I get the feeling that even Daddy loves you more than me. What makes you think that? My mom sure loves me more. No big deal. You'll find out soon enough, Mikey. You and Dad have been a little secretive lately. Why don't you tell me about it? Um, well, I have no idea idea what you're talking about now at all. Oh, look, there's our parents waiting for us. Whoa, um, now that's amazing, I think. We usually walk home. Let's go ask them what they're doing here. Let's go, JJ. At least we're going home in a cool car. Hey, guys, I'm so happy to see you all. Hey, kids. Um, and how glad I am to see you. Long time no see, Dad. You guys are all weird. I have a surprise for you. You'll be crazy about it. Wow, surprise. I love surprises. What do you think, JJ? Are you happy too? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, I'm happy to be surprised. Yay, I'm so excited and thrilled. It's a little fake, JJ, getting excited. I really can't wait to see what kind of surprise our daddy has in store for you. Then let's go home and find out what the surprise is. Let's go home quickly. I can't wait to see daddy's surprise. What do you think daddy prepared for you? I don't know. Certainly not some dumb soccer ball. A what? Actually, a ball is a cool gift. Oh my god. <laughs> Friends, what was the last gift your parents gave you? Write about it in the comments. Dad, maybe you could give us a hint about what you bought us. I'll give you one clue. You're all going to love it for sure. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, we're all very interested. I don't really care. What are you waiting for? Come home to a super duper mega cool gift. You'll be crazy happy when you see it. I can't even imagine what's so cool there can be. Let's guess what might be in there. Could it be some kind of big cake? Even a cake would be a cool surprise. No, children, that's not a cake. This is way cooler than some stupid JJ cake. And here's my surprise for all of you. What, iPhones? Three of them? The iPhone 17 Pro? I said 15. They're so expensive. Expensive. This is a very cool gift. Thank you so much, my love. I didn't think I was going to get an iPhone at all either. That's a good surprise. I've always wanted a blue iPhone. You're the best, honey. Yes, Dad, thank you so much. I love all of you guys. In honor of that, I'm going to bake a very cool cream pie. Wow, I love cream pie. We all love Mom's cream pie, Dad. I love my new iPhone more than that. After all, my dad's so sneaky. Now everyone at school will be jealous of us. We're going to be the coolest guys. We have a problem. We're out of oil. I can't make a cream pie. Well, I'll have to go to the store. I'm going to make my pie after all. Oh, yeah. I already want to taste my mom's pie so much. Then I'll go right now. Don't worry. I'll try to make it quick. We'll wait for you, sweetheart. Thank you so much again for the iPhone. You are the coolest husband ever. What are you standing there for? Come on, open your new iPhones. I didn't spend my entire paycheck on this for nothing. Oh, yeah. I'm the one who told my dad to get us all iPhones. You would never have thought of such an expensive gift. Our father bought them without your advice. Actually, no. How could I have forgotten about the oil? It's always been in my fridge. Hey, beautiful, come here. Let's play with you. <laughs> uh, what? What's that nasty, horrible voice? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, dear. Let's get acquainted. My name is Carl. <laughs> and my name is George. <laughs> You're disgusting, and I'm actually married. Whoa, then we'll take you by force. <laughs> what? No, not that. No. Ah, uh, help. Anyone. Quiet, chick. <laughs> Three hours later. JJ, did you know that my iPhone is much more powerful and cooler than yours? Actually, our iPhones are exactly the same, even in color. No, my iPhone is the best, and your phone smells like poop. It's your phone that stinks, and it's my iPhone that's the coolest. Hey, kids, have you seen our mom? She's long gone. She's been gone for three hours straight. I'm really worried about her. Uh we haven't seen her in a while. She's gone. She still hasn't come home. Oh, my God. Now that's a problem. We got to go find our mom. I have the perfect idea. We'll post these flyers all over town to find our mom. Oh, my God. I've seen this somewhere before. Maybe we should call the police. No, not the police. Here are these flyers. You have to help me with this. Oh, we're really going to help find our mom because we love her so much. I'm already starting to miss our mom. Let's go put up those stupid flyers. And here I thought I was about to eat my mom's cream pie. I'm going to have to eat 
eat regular burgers. Oh, forget the burgers and the pie. Our mom is way more important than any food. Well, Mikey, you're right. I have to think of our mom first. Let's get these flyers out in our town. Some passerby will tell us where he saw our mom. The chances of that happening are extremely low. We're still going to try everything we can to find our mom. Stop talking. Let's go put up those flyers. Maybe she's just standing in line at the store for so long. Mikey, standing in line for three hours is impossible. You're wrong. OK, let's go put these flyers up. Then where do we put these flyers? Anywhere, Mikey. You can stick them right here by this dumpster. That's where a lot of people walk by. OK, I'll put up some posters at once to increase the chances of finding our mom. That's it. A lot of pieces on one wall at once. Way to go, Mikey. Although if I were my dad, I would call the police so they could help us find our mom. I don't think the police can do anything at all. Passersby could have seen our mom. Wow, I've seen that woman. What? Did you see her? Tell me where. Yes, I saw her. She went off in that direction with some strange people. What kind of people they were? Speak quickly. Well, come with me then. I'll show you the place. Great. Our plan worked. And you said these flyers wouldn't work at all. I was wrong, Mikey. That was it. Your mom was talking to two people and then they took her away. Oh, uh, that's not enough information for us. I don't know anything else. I've told you all the information. But it doesn't do us any good. And where's our mom now? Where did those people take her? They could be anywhere right now. Whoa! Cameras? I think I have an idea. Mikey, come here. We got a lead on finding mom. JJ, what are you talking about? I found cameras that may have caught our mother missing. They can help us. Well, it's a great find. They could really help us out. But how are we supposed to see what they recorded? It's going to be very simple. I can hack into these cameras because I'm the coolest hacker in my seven years. Oh, yeah. You're very cool, Mikey. Master these cameras completely. We need to see what happened to our mom. Oh, my God. I found that exact entry three hours ago. That's great. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. We're going to need that. Uh, a truck? So what? It doesn't do us any good at all. They just drove off in that direction and that's it. We don't know where our mom is now. It turns out our flyers didn't do anything useful after all. Oh my god, it's so sad. I'd give anything to find our mom. I bet she's freezing alone somewhere. Hey, kids, I got an idea how to find our mom and it's gonna work. You don't know anything. No, our mom has my iPhone. You can geolocate the iPhone to find our mom's location. So we'll come and rescue her that way. Whoa, that's genius. Our dad is way cooler than our hacker Mikey. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. What a nice iPhone that was as a gift from my dad. Yeah, iPhones are really cool phones. Because JJ advised me to buy an iPhone. You see, Mikey, I'm the smart one in this situation. I'm the reason we're gonna save mom. Oh yeah, come on, let's go find our mom. We have to find her as soon as possible. Maybe she needs our help or maybe they're taking her somewhere far away to Mexico. Come on, Mikey, look for her iPhone. Yeah, Mikey's really gonna be able to find our mom's location. Okay, I need to go to iCloud under locator. This will open the maps where the missing iPhone is located. Wow, Mikey is really smart about these things. I found her. She's in an abandoned hospital. We can go there and get her out. Mikey, well done. Get in there right now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save my lovely wife. I will find whoever kidnapped my wife. Wow, our dad is really angry right now. Rest assured, I will not be sorry for those who stole my wife. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. Wow, I've never seen our daddy so angry. They'll regret kidnapping our favorite mom. Our dad Dad's a really cool dude. He will punish them all and they will never kidnap anyone again. Let's go to that hospital already. I want to see the idiots who dared to do this. Okay, let's go. Besides, I'm already hungry. They must have made them make cream pie for the kidnappers. JJ, shut up already. You're only thinking with your stomach. Two hours later. And here's that hospital. How scary it looks. It looks like a typical villain's lair. I don't care about that at all. I'm going to save my wife. I'll be really pissed if she's making someone a cream pie right now. There's the entrance. I'm going in alone. Well, I thought we'd all go in together. It's too dangerous out there. It's no place for little kids like you. Hey, we're actually adults. We hacked into the cameras in mom's phone. I forbid you. And don't you dare argue with me. But we will help you. Oh, no, my shotgun will help me. And no kids like you are going to help me. Oh, God, it looks like daddy's gonna get beat up pretty bad out there. Quiet, everybody. Otherwise, you'll scare the bandits away. I'll shoot them all silently. Our daddy is so loud. I'm sure everyone's heard him by now. Hey, 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 don't, don't.
Don't shoot! It hurts! Ah! Bam! Ha ha ha! That's it! Wow, our dad is so cool! Let's get out of here! It's too dangerous! Hey, stop! Don't shoot me! No! Bam! Ha 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 ha! Headshot! Wow, I'm so excited to see what's going on in there! But dad forbade us to go there! Yes, and the sound of gunfire has stopped! I think daddy's finished what he wanted to do! I hope he found our mom safe and unharmed! Daddy will definitely save her! Here I am with our mom! I saved her! Hi kids! I missed you guys so much! Wow, it's good to see you too, mom! Yay, mom! You're alive! We're so happy! Thank you all so much for saving me! You're our mom! We have to protect you and keep you safe! Actually, I'm the one who saved her, and you just gave me information! Let's go home already! I also have to buy oil! By the way, yes! Your mom should make us a cream pie! I'm so excited for it! Let's finally go home! I'm so tired of looking for these kidnappers! It wasn't easy to find them! The next day... Hi! Almost two months ago, I lost my mom, and now I'm out on the street all alone. Excuse me. Do you have any food? Give me a break, man. It's like this all the time. Excuse me, would you have some food? I don't care about you. Go away. Can't anyone help me in this town? There must be one good person. I'm sorry, can you help me? I haven't eaten in days. Hi, I'm sorry to hear about your situation. I don't have a lot of money, but there are trash cans around the corner of this street. Look for something there. Thank you so much for your help. I'm gonna go see what's going on. He was right. These tanks are really big. I'm gonna have to get in there and take a closer look. I wonder if I'll find anything useful there. Let's check it out. While I'm checking, you can subscribe to the channel and give me a like. Aliop. So, I found some potatoes in there that weren't first quality and I think, yeah, it's a rotten piece of meat. Let's try the potatoes. Ew, what a disgusting flavor. I think I'm getting sick. I should drink water from a puddle at least. I think I feel better. Wait, what's that house in the distance? We should find some cardboard and try asking them for food. Where it could be? Oh, there she is. Great. Just need to figure out what to put on it. It's not big. Need to come up with something short. I'm gonna write, help me, I'm hungry on it. It's time to go. Two hours later. What a big house. I hope good people live here and they will help me. They're my last hope. Do you think they'll help me? And so, here's the bell. You have to ring it and sit right in front of the door. Hopefully that way I'll be visible. I'm so worried. I hope they don't refuse to help me. I think someone's coming. Hello, did you want something? Hi, would you mind? Is this some kind of joke? Ringing the doorbell and running away. Wait, I'm here. Take a look at this. Help me, please. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Please come inside. Thank you so much. You've been very helpful. Come in. You're just in time for dinner. How did you end up on the street? It's a very long and sad story. I can tell it to you later. Ah, uh, Mal, we have guests. He has nowhere to go. What a sting. Come in, don't be shy. Dinner will be ready soon. How come you're all alone? I'm very grateful to you. A few months ago, my mom disappeared. And since then, I've been wandering the streets hoping to find her. I'm sorry to hear that. You can eat now and then we'll figure something out. Thank you so much. This is delicious. Feel free to eat more. We'll make more if anything else. What's your name? My name is JJ. Thanks for feeding me. I should probably go. I don't want to interrupt you guys anymore. Wait, we're not letting you sleep outside. Stay with us. You can have Mikey's old room. This is really great. I can't tell you how happy I am. You can come in. It's all set up. Comfortable bed and warm. You can borrow my toys if you need them. I have no words. You can help me a lot. I don't remember sleeping in a comfortable bed. It was a long time ago. You have a chance to get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we'll figure out how to find your mom. But in the meantime, you can stay with us as long as you need to. Well, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Thank you. Good night. Good night, JJ. This is one of the best days of my life. I had given up all hope, but these kind people agreed to help me. I wish tomorrow would come sooner. <sighs> Mikey, we owe it to him to help him. I totally agree with you. How do you plan to help? I prepared flyers that say there's a missing person. Maybe someone from the village next door saw his mom. We need to put up as many of them as possible. Let's go quickly. <sighs> what a great night's sleep. I think someone's coming. Good morning, JJ. We have a surprise for you. How unexpected. What have you got? We were up all night putting up flyers about your mom being missing. Maybe you want to come and put up flyers with us. Of course. Let's go put them up quickly. We can also ask around on the street to see if anyone's seen anything. I can't wait to start searching. Something tells me we'll be on the trail in no time. Come on down, I'll follow you. We've got to get there before the residents go to work. I am very grateful to you. You are good people. I hope that our search will bring results. Also, I'll ask a friend of mine for surveillance footage of the area. Maybe they can help us track your mom. All right. Uh-huh. How many flyers did you put up? I'll take part and put up more flyers. 
I think it's also worth contacting her friends and co-workers to find out about her habits and possible places she might be. Sounds like a really good idea. I'll put up flyers and ask around town then. Okay, let's start searching. I suggest that you and I don't split up because it may not be safe to do so. I'll do my best. We need to put up a lot more flyers. I'll help you put it up then. That's right. Let's do everything we can to find your mom, JJ. Together we can accomplish this task. I'm sorry, have you seen this man? I told you to get out of here. The residents don't want to make contact with me. Mikey, would you please try? Excuse me, have you seen this woman? Do you know where she went? Something like that, I think I saw it not far from the village that way a couple months ago. Thank you so much for the information. Have you heard? We're on the right track. Hey, doesn't that man look suspicious to you? Oh no, you can't catch me. He was really suspicious, but he won't go far. Let's follow him and put up posters as well. Good call, JJ. Plus, I have access to the cameras now and know where he ran to. He won't get far, and I think he knows something. Hey, there he is. Let's follow him carefully through the bushes. Just very quietly so he doesn't hear us. Everybody, let's be quiet. They can't catch me. I don't understand anything. They haven't declassified us yet. What's that? I've never seen anything like this before. It's a skibidi toilet. I didn't think they'd get this close to us. Mikey, I forbid you to go in there. It's very dangerous. We have to help him. I think they have his mom. JJ, what do you think? I think we have to save my mom. I'd appreciate your help. It's decided. We're going in there. We need to proceed quietly and carefully. I'm glad we got a lead. I hope my mom's in there. JJ, I've got something to make it easier. Mike, you never cease to amaze. You always have everything ready to go. I'll try not to let you down. I'm counting on your help. Be careful. We've got your back. You can do it. I'm serious. Let's show them we're not good enough. They're kind of quiet. Check every door carefully so there's not a whole bunch of them. All right, we'll be vigilant. Look at them sitting there like nothing happened. There's a lot of them. JJ, shoot him before he calls for help. I was even a little scared. Let's take a peek at the ones behind the door, too. All right, we just need to act fast. Confess, did you kidnap my mom? Speak up. You'll never get out of here. You shouldn't have come. We'll see about that. You say you did it? We won't tell you anything. You're finished. It was pretty easy. This is no time to relax, JJ. Stay alert. Do you hear that? What's that sound? It's like something's coming. What is that huge monster? We have to run. Hurry. Quick, this way. Be careful. There are traps everywhere. JJ, shoot him or he won't let us pass properly. He's so clingy. Hurry over here. We'll deal with him here. What do you want? Take it. Leave us alone. Shoot him. He'll surrender soon. Don't stop, JJ. It's finally been taken care of. You all right? Yeah, we're fine. Thanks. JJ, my boy, is that really you? Have you come for me? Mom, I'm so happy to see you. Yes, we came to rescue you. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Thank you so much. Oh no, he's back here again. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Come on, follow me. I know where to go. Let's get out of here. Hurry, we can't let him catch up with us. He's kind of behind. We have a slight advantage. I found a way out. Faster. Come out. I'll hold him off. You've made me very uncomfortable. Take that. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you for saving me. JJ, did you hurt yourself? I'm fine. I missed you so much. It was the worst two months of living on the streets. But then I met these wonderful people who took me in and helped me find you. JJ and I have become very close friends. He is a very nice person. I hope we will continue to be friends in the future. Of course we'll continue to be friends. I'm very happy right now. So we made it home. I am very happy that I can find my mom and I have also made new friends. We're very happy we were able to help you. I really appreciate you taking care of my son. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you. I had fun with you, JJ. Be sure to stop by for a visit. We'll definitely see each other again. After all, we have a lot of fun and fun together. It's time to go home. Well, my friends. See you later. Bye, JJ. Let's go home, my good son. I'll cook us something special tonight. I have so much to tell you. I missed you so much, my beautiful mom. The next day. Now, I'm finishing my work. Not much left and watching my favorite cartoon, SpongeBob. Okay, now I just need to fix this. And that's it. I think it's done. I finally finished this job. Oh, there's my girlfriend, Speaker Woman. Hi, JJ. What are you doing? Hello, darling. Uh, just finishing up some work. Is there something you wanted to ask me? You're doing great, honey. Listen, I signed up for a yoga class. Today will be my first day. So I came to warn you that I'll be gone until tonight. All right, darling, be careful. All right, sweetie, I'll call you later. Okay, I'll wait for you at home. Okay, I have to double check my work to make sure there aren't any mistakes. <coughs> Phew, I'm so tired of working. I should get some rest. With all this work, I didn't realize it was getting dark. Guys, TV woman's running a little late. Let's call her and see if she's okay. Okay, we need to get out our phone and find her number. Hmm, 
Okay, that's her number. We'll call her. Hmm, she's not picking up. I'm starting to worry about her. Please, darling, answer me. Oh, that's probably her. She's probably tired and didn't pick up. Hmm, no one's here. What? That's a picture of my girlfriend. Is she tied up? Oh no, she's been taken hostage. But why? Okay, don't panic. I should have gone with her and then nothing would have happened. Okay, I gotta call Mikey right away. Maybe he can help me think of something. Okay, here's his number. Come on, Mikey, pick up the phone, please. Hey, Mikey. Hey, JJ, what's up? Yes, I have a very big problem. My girlfriend seems to have been kidnapped. I found a picture of her tied up on my doorstep and I need your help. What? Oh my God, just get to my place fast and we'll figure out what to do. Okay, how lucky I am to have such a friend. I gotta run to the garage and get my car and go to Mikey's. He's gonna figure something out. I'm so worried about my girlfriend. All right, here's my car. We gotta get to Mikey's right away. Three hours later. Here we are. It's been a long road. We have to hurry to Mikey. He's already waiting for us. Okay, there's his house. I hope he's not too busy in there. Hey, Mikey, I'm here. Open up. We don't have much time. We've got to save the TV woman. Mikey, where are you? I think he's coming. Finally. Hi, JJ. Come on over and show me this picture you found. We'll see what we can work out. This is the picture I found. Okay, now tell me how it happened. I was working quietly. The speaker woman came up and said she had signed up for yoga and today was her first class. She was gone for a long time and I started calling her. She wouldn't pick up. Then the doorbell rang and there was this picture. What? What's that lever, Mikey? JJ, this lever is my little secret for emergencies like this. It's my personal arsenal. If you like what's in there, feel free to take it. Then we'll go to the place where she disappeared. Wow, Mikey, where'd you get all this stuff? I'll tell you all about it sometime, okay? All right, I'll take this shotgun and these grenades. You don't mind, do you? Of course, I don't mind. I said, take whatever you want. By the way, a shotgun is not a bad weapon. Good choice. Here, have your shotgun and grenades. Now we can go. Thanks, Mikey. I'm all packed now. All right, we can go to these coordinates that were in the picture. JJ, then let's run to the garage. I'll show you the car we're going to drive. You'll be surprised. Okay. Here, look, that's my new car. Wow, this car is amazing. It must be very expensive, huh? Really, where did you get it? I bought it. Yes, it's very expensive. I earned the money from my new job. Come on, let's go quickly. Yes, you're right. Let's go to her quickly. JJ, did you call the police or not? If not, hurry up and call and tell them everything. Yeah, you're right. We should call them. Thanks for reminding me because I forgot about that. Hello, this is the police station. Is there a problem? Good afternoon. Yes, my girlfriend has been kidnapped and she is at coordinates 66, 24, 45. Can you help me? Well, if the workers get free, I'll send them over there right away. Mikey, I don't think the police are going to help us this time. Two hours later. Oh no, there's a roadblock. What are we gonna do now? Oh no, Mikey, what are we gonna do now? I don't know, JJ, get out of the car. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find another road. You're right, Mikey. It's a good idea to look around. There's a lot of skibidi toilets. What are they doing here? What do you think? I don't know, maybe this poster says it all? Skibidi Festival, yep, now I see what they're doing here. But how are we supposed to get through without disturbing them? Mikey, you got any ideas? JJ, I think I know what to do. There's a manhole. Maybe it'll lead to the other side. Let's go see. All right, Mikey. If that's the case, you'll call me, okay? JJ, come on down. There's a way in. Yeah, Mikey, you were right. There's a passageway. Let's get there. I don't think we have much time. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Don't worry so much. I'm sure TV Woman will be fine. 
Let's get to the right place, free her, and go home happy. All right, here's the exit. Yeah, let me go first. See if it's okay. If it is, I'll call you. Wait for my signal. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Mikey? Hmm, it's taking a while. Hey, Mikey, where are you? JJ, it's safe. Come on, get out of there. Yay, Mikey, we did it. We bypassed this festival. I think this is the building we're looking for. Let's get closer to this building and see if we're on the right coordinates. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's look at the coordinates. Hmm, see if we're in the right place. Yes, this is the place we need. So, let's go inside, shall we? Yes, let's go, quickly. She must be in this building. Let's look around here. You're right, JJ, let's take a look around. What? They're skibbity toilets. Attack! Look, there's more! Mikey, get down, grenade! Throw more! JJ! Yay, JJ, you managed to beat them. You're so good! Thanks, Mikey, but I don't think it's over yet. Let's move on. Yeah, you're right. Let me go first and you cover me. How about that? That's a great idea. There's a staircase to the second floor. Let's go there quickly. Yeah, let's go. I hope she's okay. Where do we go from here, Mikey? Hmm, let me see. I think we should go up. Don't worry, I'm sure. She's fine. JJ, look. It's them again. Oh, no. Mikey, stay behind me. Yay, JJ. You beat them again. You're so good. Now, I'm pretty sure we have to go up. Let's go. I'm 100% sure we're going in the right direction. Here we are on the top floor. We have to find the doors to get to the speaker woman. You're right, Mikey. Let's go find a way in. JJ, here come the doors. Let's go inside and see what's in there. Mikey, it's kind of weird in here. All the doors are boarded up. I'm a little scared. Are you? Me too. Oh, look, JJ. There's a door that's not boarded up. But I'm worried there's those skibbity toilets again. You better be on your guard and let's go in there on the count of three. Okay, one, two, three, go. Mikey, there's nobody here but Speaker Woman. Let's go get her. As you, Speaker Woman, it's us, Mikey and JJ. Guys, hold it. Stay back. I've got a bomb on me. It's about to go off. Oh no, honey, don't worry. We'll help you. JJ, you'll forgive me, but you have to stay alive. Save yourself. I was told they were in this hospital. I am so worried about them. Guys, do you think they're alive or not? Write your answers in the comments. So I was told that their room must be somewhere around here. And yes, there is only one room because the passage is closed. I was told I was to be met by a doctor. JJ, is that you? Yes, doctor, how are they doing? JJ, they're fine. That's good, I'm so excited. Can we go in and see them? Yeah, sure, but let's keep it quiet. They're sleeping now, but that's no problem. It's time for them to get up, and for discharge anyway. There, like I said, they are perfectly fine. Now I'll be waking them up. Okay, first up is Mikey. Hey, Mikey, get up. It's time for you to go home. <gasps> TV woman, get up. It's time for you to go home, too. Guys, I'm so glad you're all alive. I was so worried about you guys. Well, I went to the other patients then. Glad to be of help. Darling, I was so scared I'd never see you again. Thank you, Mikey, for taking the bomb off me at the last minute and throwing it away. You're welcome. I was more afraid that JJ was going to crash, but it didn't. Okay, I'm going home to rest. Bye, Mikey. JJ, I was really afraid you crashed. Thanks to Mikey, we are all alive. He is our hero. I'll thank him for that for the rest of my life. It was an interesting adventure. We'll come out here. Good day to you all. Thanks, Driver Bob, and you have a great day. Goodbye. Bye. So, kids, did you like the Oceanarium? Yeah, that was really cool. I really like that big tank with the white fish. Wait, white fish? Uh, I think you saw a penguin. Or it was a Navy SEAL. Yeah, I guess so. See, I told you it wasn't a shark. Let's go home. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up. JJ, would you like to go to the Oceanarium again? Yeah, I really liked everything about it, so I'd go again, maybe twice. Oh, finally the comforts of home. Yay! Are you kids hungry? <gasps> oh, yeah, I'm really hungry. I'd even eat a whale. Wow. All right. I'll make a delicious dinner tonight. Wow. That must be something special, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I hope it's mega delicious. Mom, how long do we have to wait? Go play in your room, both of you. Okay, Mom. I'll call you when the food is ready. Uh, what about you, Dad? And I'm off to watch the Minez channel. Wow. I didn't realize our dad was watching us. So M-Y-N-E-Z channel. I'm sure he's already liked the new video. I don't doubt it either. Cool. JJ, what are we going to play today to make the wait a little easier? Uh, we can read books. What? No books. Uh. Look, they're cartoons. 
cartoons. Uh, but Mikey... I want to watch cartoons and do nothing else. Have you forgotten? Hmm. Mom said we'd be stupid if we only watched cartoons all the time. What? Huh. The videos from this channel are drenched in so many adventures. Cool. Oh, is that a commercial? I click on the link and... Oh, holy TV, what is this? Whoa! <laughs> That's news. She's the best doctor ever. And she's waiting for anyone who needs help. <laughs> Oh, and I'm definitely going to need her help soon. She helped me cure my, uh, cough, yeah. Oh, this doctor is perfect. I have to meet her. She's my dream. Three hours later. What's up, JJ? I told you this was a bad idea. Well... Mikey, we've been watching cartoons for three hours. Let's go. Yes, it's time to eat. Well, time went by fast, didn't it, JJ? Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess Mikey's probably right about the cartoons. Mom, hey. Oh, you're both just in time. Sit at the table. Oh. Now we're going to get so full of delicious food. I've worked really hard for you kids. Wow, Mommy, it really does show. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Daddy's here. Oh, it smells so good in here. Dad, join us for dinner. <coughs> Oh, my God. You know, I'm feeling, uh, really bad. My head hurts so much. Oh. Honey, you probably have a fever. Daddy won't eat with us. I'd better not sit close to you or you'll get sick. Hmm. I'm gonna go lie down in my room. Uh, Mom, what happened to Dad? Guys, Daddy's really sick. Hmm. I think it's very serious. It's gonna be okay. Oh, I sure hope so. Mikey, let's eat already. Ooh. Well, I'm full. Let's go. Hee hee hee. Kids, it's getting late and it's time for bed. Already? So go to your room. But it's, uh, wow, it's so late. I'm gonna go see how Daddy's feeling, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, honey. We should get going too. I'm a little worried about our daddy's health. Oh, hmm. Mom was a little worried. That's not good. I don't think it's that serious. Huh, what? That's our dad. He's sure to beat all illnesses and get well soon. Yes, you're right. Let's have faith in his recovery. Okay, JJ. Oh, right. It's bedtime. Mikey, good night. Good night to you too, JJ. Yay. And don't let our daddy get sick. Yes, I agree. Give him a speedy recovery. Uh, night. The next day. So we came from school. Mikey did something ridiculous again. I stole a burger from the school cafeteria. But Mikey, you can eat it home. Yeah, but it was fun. I can always eat at home. You can, but parents may be called back to school for doing so. Dad's in the hospital so I can do whatever I want. Stealing burgers, punching classmates, pranking again, and so on. Yeah, Mikey, you're a real bully. Uh, sure, I'm a bad boy. Where is my beloved husband? I'm so worried about him. Could he have an incurable disease? Mom, what's wrong? Why are you sad? Our dad never came home from the hospital. I called the hospital, but they said they had not received any patients. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Listen up. If our dad wasn't in the hospital as a patient, then he's lost. We should call the police. They'll definitely find him. Call the police? I don't know. We should call the police. He's been gone a long time. JJ is right. Okay, kids. We should still call them. I'll do whatever it takes to find my sweet husband. 911. Hello, it's the police. Hello, my husband is missing. Roger that. We'll start looking for him immediately. I'll come to you soon. Bye. Okay, the process of finding our dad has begun. Yeah, I hope they can find my husband. He's got a fever. He's so sick right now. Mom, everything's gonna be okay. I have a very bad feeling about him. Hello, it's the police. Open up. It's about your husband. A policeman has already come here. Yeah, he got here quickly. That was really fast. Hello, I'm Sheriff Mike Ermintrout. I'll be handling the search for your father. How long has your father been gone? He's been gone since last night. Come inside. We'll tell you everything. Okay, I'm listening to you very closely. Spit it out. Where he went, why he went, and so on. He got sick and went to the hospital. We haven't seen him since then. Okay, where's his room? His room is over there. That's where he lived and slept. Okay, then let's get in there. I have to take a look at it. I need all the information on him. Any clues or leads? He often sat at his computer. And yesterday he was sick. Well, I can tell you there's very little information on your father. We'll canvas the hospital where he was. We'll do everything we can to find him. But you, as the people closest to him, can help us. But how can we help? Yes, officer. How can we help find our daddy? We don't even know where he is. For cases like this, we put out ads to find missing people. Here's a stack for you. You have to post them all over the city. It might help us find this person. Posters. Okay. I hope these posters help you find your father. We'll return to the police station to continue the search. Don't despair and don't get discouraged. He can't just disappear. Good luck to all of you. Bye-bye. Thank you for your help. Bye-bye. Well, kids, let's go put these posters up wherever we can. Maybe some passerby will happen to see it and report it to us or the police. Yeah, let's go. Let's not waste another minute. I wonder when he had time to print out all those flyers. The police in our city work very fast indeed. I hope they find our daddy just as quickly. At least I hope so. Mom, do we have to put one poster on each wall? No, Mikey. We're gonna put a few on each wall. The cop gave us a whole bunch of these posters. We got enough to cover the whole town.
There's a whole five pieces that will fit on this wall. Poor dad. I don't know where he is. Or maybe the evil Skibidi toilets kidnapped him and are doing experiments on him. JJ, don't say that. You're making me even more nervous. Okay, okay, mom. Not a word about Skibidi toilets. Yeah, they piss me off too. Kids, let's keep putting up the flyers. Our town is pretty big. It's gonna take a long time. Yeah, it's a little exhausting. Yeah, but I miss him so much. That's what we realize. Where did our daddy go? Oh, is that our dad standing there with the flowers? What? With flowers? He's talking to some woman. But I'm not sure it's our dad. You can't see it from far away. No, that's our dad. That man really looks like our dad. He's also with some nurse. He's been complaining about his health a lot lately. Maybe he's been texting this nurse on the computer. Maybe. We'll have to check it out. Then let's go and check it out. I don't think my husband is capable of cheating. He's not like that. I love him and he loves me. My husband has always been a faithful and loving man. I don't know. After all these years of marriage, maybe he's tired of you. That's very rude of you, JJ. Anything can happen, Mikey. No, it couldn't have happened, JJ. My husband loves me. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh-oh. TV nurse? Top doctor? She looks too vulgar. That nurse was in the street. This can't be happening. It's already happened. Our dad is in a relationship with another woman. He swore he loved me. We were married. We had children. He can't cheat on me. But he was texting this nurse. This is some kind of mistake. No, it's not a mistake. It's treason. He's sitting with her somewhere right now. Okay, anything's possible. A nurse works in a hospital. We'll go to that hospital and talk to her. She'll say he's just a patient of hers. Mom, you're just hoping for the best. He's cheating on you. No, I don't believe you. He was completely healthy on the street, and he was so quick to chase after her. No, you're wrong. He's not like that. Now we're gonna go in and talk to that nurse. Come on, open the door. Talk to her. You'll see our daddy's not so good. Yeah, he's lying to you. No, you're both wrong. Mom is so stubbornly opinionated. Yes, I'm right. All right, let's get in the office. We're about to find out. What? Husband, what's he doing? He's kissing a nurse. Looks like the two of them are having a blast together. That's too bad. Mom doesn't like it. But how could he? I loved him. I would have done anything for him. He doesn't seem to care about you. He doesn't even notice us. He did a very bad thing. We need to calm Mom down. Yeah, you're right. How could he do this to me? To some nurse? He spit on my soul, our love, our marriage. It's all gone now. I can't see that man anymore. I hate him. Wow, our mom was very unhappy, I can tell. We couldn't even do anything to support her. And that lover is still kissing. How can he not be ashamed? Mom won't forgive him. Mom said she didn't want to see him anymore. Now we don't have a daddy. Yeah, it's going to be hard living without a father. Six months later. Dad's been gone for six months. He hasn't even come to see us. Yeah, Mikey. He doesn't seem to care about you and me or our mom. Yeah, he did a bad thing, but it's kind of sad to live without him. It's not a complete family. Mommy, do you want Daddy to get back from his nurse? Maybe you can forgive each other. I'll never forgive him. He betrayed me. He betrayed you. He has no place in our house. Wow, looks like you're still angry with him. Of course I'm angry. He hurt me. He's a horrible person. Yeah, well, Mom's right. He betrayed us. Not visiting for six months. That's bad. Yeah, Mikey, we won't forgive him. Oh, someone's ringing the doorbell. Who could it be? Maybe the policeman who found him? He hasn't visited us in half a year either. Hey, everybody. I'm back from treatment. I'm finally cured. I missed you guys so much. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? How are we doing? We're good. Yes, we had a very good life without you. Now get out. Yeah, you're not welcome here, Dad. Go back to your nurse. The nurse left me. I came back to you. We don't care. Go have an affair with a new woman. Get out, you traitor. How could you cheat on me with some creepy nurse? You're awful. We don't want to see you. Go away. You've only been here half a year. You're disgusting. Oh, you're hurting me. Don't do that. We'll beat you until you leave. Okay, okay, I'm out of here. Bye, everybody. Go away and don't ever come back. Look, it was fun hitting him. It actually made me feel better. He's so stupid. He came in after half a year and hoped for something. But Mikey's right. I feel better too. Punching him in the face was a lot of fun. Now I'm in a good mood. Huh, that makes me feel better too. At least we've gotten some use out of our dad for the last half year. I really don't want to see him again. You know, I've been thinking about it and I've decided to move on. Our father's in the past. What's important is now. I can easily find a new man and you're all grown up. You can live without a father. We will love each other and all will be well. Yeah, Mom, you're right. Yeah, our mom's right, as always. JJ, let's go watch cartoons. Yeah, Mikey, let's go. With a good mood like that, we can keep having fun. I agree with you, JJ. Our favorite SpongeBob is on TV right now. At least now our dad won't forbid us from watching TV all day. We have to look for the good in everything and be optimistic. You have smart thoughts, Mikey. A few moments later. Phew, Mikey, this bicycle ride sounds like a very good one to me. Well, what's the other way around, JJ? Huh, you're right. There's nothing better than that. Yay! We're almost home. Cool. We've been bicycling for three hours. You must be tired by now. You have no idea how tired I am. I'm tired, too. Hmm. Okay, let's go home. I'm hungry. That's right. I'm a little hungry already, too. Oh, and our parents are probably waiting for us by now. We warned them, of course, that we were going for a long bicycle ride, but three hours. It's okay, JJ. We've been gone longer. Hmm. So relax, and let's go eat. Uh, okay. Mom and Dad, hi! 
Hi. Hi. Kids, you're finally back. Hi. Mom, is something wrong? Yes, we have amazing news for you both. Oh, hmm. Uh, you're both going to Grandma and Grandpa's for the weekend. Yay. Yes, they miss you both very much. Mikey, we're going to the country. Yeah, it's cool. Fresh air. No worries. Yeah. But we're not going with you. Wait, why? Your daddy's car broke down. Yeah, you're both taking a cab. Go pack your things. Take everything you could use in the countryside for a couple days. Yay, nature. Huh, we'll be expecting you in two hours. Don't be long. Okay, Mom. JJ, what are you taking with you? Well, I was thinking of taking my phone and also a plaid. Huh, plaid. Well, maybe some board games, too. Ooh. What about you, Mikey? I will 100% take my backpack. Well, that was obvious. I'm bringing a backpack, too. I'd like to put my whole side of the room in there. But Mikey... But yeah, the room won't fit in the backpack, I know. Two hours later... I hope you both took all the items you needed for both of you. We've already booked both cabs for you. Yep. Oh! Kind of like we've gathered everything we need for us. Yeah! Oh, well, that's great. Well done, both of you. Mom, how far are we going? Well, it's not far. It's about a three-hour drive. Well, yes, it is. I'll try to get the car fixed while you're away from home. Look! That's our cab coming! Yes, the license plate match what we ordered. Cool! We'll finally be able to go to Grandma and Grandpa's. Yay! Did someone say Grandpa? Uh, I'm still full of energy. Okay. Uh, were you the one who ordered the cab? Yes, please take these children to Big Wheel village. Their relatives are waiting for them yeah, there. Yeah, no problem. I've been driving for 60 years. They'll get there in one piece. 60 years is a long time. Oh, look at the time. Let's hit the road. Oh, Mom and Dad, we're going. I'll call you back when we arrive at the appointed place. Nice. Goodbye. We gotta go, too. Bye. Bye, my boy. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. You didn't forget anything. Check your bag. Everything's in place. Call if you need anything. Okay, okay. Can you imagine how high we'll get without them for two whole days? Yes. This is going to be the best weekend we've had in a while. Uncle Grandpa, how old are you? Ooh. Oh, my God. I'm 83 years old, kid. Oh, wow. And while we're on our way, kids, I'm going to tell you a story. Oh, I love stories. Once upon a time, all nations lived in peace. Uh, well... Fire and water, air, uh... Oh, that's not the story. Well, in my youth, we fought a band of pirates once. Really? Yes. It was a glorious battle. Oh, hmm. I was only a young man then, but my abilities were already recognized by the ship's captain. Wow, what did you do? Huh, I beat the enemy captain, kid. Oh, my God. It can't be. Huh. Were all those legends really true? That's why, oops, <gasps> a bit of a car skid. Uh, there's a star called the sun shining over our head. It can't be that the sun revolves around the Earth. Oh, what's that? Oh, my God. JJ! No! Ah! Oh my god, what happened? Where is everybody? Oh, what is this? How could this happen? The car's on fire. Oh my god, Mikey, wake up. Come on, you're making me nervous. Wake up. Holy turtles, JJ. Mikey, do you have any pain? I'm fine, what's wrong? I don't know why, but our driver mismanaged and we flew into a wall of dirt. Is he all right? Uh, no, Mikey, I don't think so. I feel so sorry for the old man. Yes, his stories were so wonderful, it makes me sad. Yeah, we'll have to call for help. Yeah. Oh, JJ, look at this. Hmm. Those are spikes. Wait, what? Oh, hmm. Huh? Oh my God, that's why the driver lost control. But who would install this in here? Uh, I don't know. Either way, we should call for help. Mikey, I can't see where the road leads. Well, how are we gonna find help? We'll take any road we want, JJ. What makes you think that? Any path leads to people. Uh, are you right? Should we take this path? Yes, I think we will follow this path as it is well trodden. Uh, I find that a little suspicious. JJ, wild animals don't make such smooth paths, so we're definitely coming to people. Oh! Mikey, let's face it. There are no people mm, here. Okay, JJ, you're right. There are no people here. So where are we now? We've been deep in the woods for a while now. I didn't even remember which side we came in from. We're lost. Well, great. So what are we going to do? Oh, hmm. I'm very tired and hungry. Calm down, JJ. Hmm. Let's get on our way before you eat me. Wow, Mikey. You look really yummy. JJ, please don't make jokes like that. Okay, okay. I'm tired too, JJ, but we're, uh, wow, look, there's an abandoned cabin. Wow. Has there really been some kind of cabin here all this time? There was a path leading to this building. Well... That explains why we didn't see anything on the way here. Let's see if there's someone inside. Hmm, I doubt anyone lives there. Oh, hmm. Well, just as I thought, there's no one inside. Maybe we just don't see the people inside. Well, it could be, but then they don't move at all. Well, then I have no more ideas. Oh, uh, what? Which means we can go in the house now that no one's living there. Oh. Let's occupy this cabin until we can find help. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> at least we won't be sleeping outside, which is a huge plus. Yes, because it's really cold and scary outside. And the house is warm. Oh, you cooked so many beautiful, flavorful dishes. It's been so long since we've had such a romantic evening together. Oh, yeah, and I'm glad we can sit back and enjoy each other's company. 
Oh, who's calling at this late hour? It must be that cab driver. That's right. He said he'd call us back when he dropped the kids off. Honey? But why is he calling so late at night? Did they really just get there? Pick up the phone. Uh, hello? Daughter, where are our grandchildren? What, you don't have them? They were supposed to come by cab to your house? They're not here? No, we've been waiting for them all day. Aren't they at your home? Oh my God. Does that mean they've been in the middle of nowhere this whole time? They could be anywhere. Honey, what are we going to do? We can't even go look for them. Mm. You didn't fix your car. Honey, calm down a bit. Let's ask the police for help. Would they help us in a situation like this? And they won't have any other choice because I have a friend of mine working there. Then what are we standing around for? Let's go. The police station is open 24 hours a day. That's a good thing because it's long past dark now. I agree. Let's hurry up. First, you'll ask your friend for help. Uh, got it. And then we'll go looking for the kids right away, okay? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's not waste a minute. Great. I'm so sick of this group of bandits. It's been three months since we've been on their trail, but nothing. It's so annoying. Good evening. This is Speaker Man. I have urgent business for you. Oh, Mr. Speaker Man, my friend. Come on in. My doors are open to you anytime, even at 11 p.m. Oh, you're not alone. What's your emergency? Hello. Our children are missing, and my husband said you might be able to help us. Help us, please. Can you tell me more about what happened, where they were last seen? Um, maybe what they had with them? They were leaving this afternoon to my parents' house in a cab. But recently, we got a call from her parents saying they still don't have the kids at home. We were supposed to get a call back from the cab driver. Oh, but you couldn't get in touch with him, okay? Our police team is on your case right now. I'll give you a call as soon as I know the details. Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry. I was already thinking of running out to look everywhere I could. But with your help, I think I'll be okay. Thank you, officer. We look forward to hearing from you. I'm not saying goodbye. JJ, that cabin is certainly not as cozy as I thought it would be, but not bad either. Well, Mikey, do you really think this house is good? Well... This house could fall apart at any moment. Well, it's not as bad as you think. Here it's dusty and everything creaks. Well, it's the little things. And you say it's not that bad? For instance, I found an apple in one of the drawers. Oh, Mikey, I'm really hungry. Oh, hmm. Can I eat this apple? Sure, JJ, eat up. I've got another apple. Wow, thanks, Mikey. Let's snack on these juicy apples. Yeah. Oh, it's been a long time since I've eaten it all, and this apple breathed life into me. Look, JJ, I I'd even set the place up further. Yes, we could pre-clean here and spend the night when we are away from home. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, uh, can you believe this grandfather only had a oh couple dollars? Oh my god. JJ, someone's coming in here. They were talking about some grandfather. Could it be our cab driver? Come on, open the door already. Oh. JJ, we need to hide soon. I don't think these people are nice. Ooh, and that place under the bed looks secure. Yeah, hurry up and get in here. We need to be as quiet as possible. Oh, hmm. Huh. Because we can be easily detected here. Okay, okay. Finally. Did it take you so long to find the keys to the door? Would you believe it? The door was already open. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, poor grandpa. Do you remember if that grandfather was riding alone? I think he had two kids in the car with him. Exactly, two kids. Where'd they go? They must be wandering around somewhere. Huh. If that's the case, when they come across that barn, they'll be in our hands in no time. Oh my god. We're trapped! We've got to catch them on the street. We'll tell them we're being nice and then we'll catch them. Uh, what are we going to do about this grandpa? Leave him here. I'll have to get rid of his body later. I don't want any more trouble. You're not the only one who doesn't want trouble. So I'm going to throw it in a river somewhere. Oh my god! Mikey, we're in a bandit stand. Looks like they were the ones who put those spikes on the road that got us in the car accident. Oh, I feel most sorry for that grandpa. He doesn't deserve to die like that. Yeah, that's not fair. We'll be sure to bury you, grandpa, when we can find help. If we can even get out of here. Oh, we can fit through these windows. Hmm. There's just enough room for our escape. JJ, I checked all the windows. They're all locked. We can't escape through them. This can't be happening. Oh, I'm a little uncomfortable being here already. Let's go out the front door. Mikey, I don't think this is a good idea. JJ, we don't have time. They could find us any minute. Or maybe they're already out the door. Well, we're about to find out. Oh, they're not outside the door. They're standing a little farther they're away. around here somewhere. Yes, I saw their footprints. Mikey, don't just stand there. Let's go. Oh, what a surprise. Kids, there they are. We've been looking all over for you. Mikey, they've spotted us. Let's go. Come on. Where do you think you're going? You can't go far. Oh, no. Mikey. Uh, we're not going down without a fight. Oh, how curious. Come on. Oh. Let's break their legs so they don't kick. Oh, my God. Stay away from us. I'm conducting aerial surveillance. Nothing so far. Uh, wait, I see children and some men. They're surrounding them. That's not good. Everyone gather at the designated coordinates. The kids need help now. Please let us go home. No, you know too much. But we won't tell anyone, right, Mikey? Yes. Oh, we're not as naive as you are. JJ, run. Great job, Mikey. 
too. We can wait it out here for a while. Yeah, but they're gonna break that door down uh, soon. I don't get it. Did they distract us or something? I don't know what to do, Mikey. Everybody on the floor? Nobody move? Uh, what was that? Oh, hmm. Huh. Where'd the cops come from? They were never here. Mikey, they said the cops are here. Let's go out and check it out. Uh, okay. <gasps> get down and let's have no more tricks. Said you grabbed us because of the children. What a shame. It's the end. Nice. Phew, thank you so much for the rescue. Thank you, I'm so happy. I was so scared because of you. Such criminals must always be punished. Thanks to you guys, we found those bandits. We're glad you were able to find us. We couldn't catch them for three months. What rascals they are. I agree with what you said. Mommy! We were finally able to find you. I knew you'd be looking for us. Yay! They were near the end, but we came to their rescue just in time. Yeah, those rascals wanted to break Mikey's legs and mine. Oh, so glad it all turned out okay. Uh, there lies the body of the cab driver's grandfather. Officer, I'll deal with all their atrocities. Oh, I'm so glad you stayed well. We've been looking for you both for so long. Yes, as you can see, they even called the cops. They've been a great help! Yeah, without them, we wouldn't have found you both. Yay. The next morning. Jay, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm just in a really good mood. Wait, why? Because it's Sunday, Mikey. <gasps> oh, I just love Sundays. Really? Yes. Because on this day, our parents come up with something cool and interesting for us. That's exactly why I'm in a good mood. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us today. Yeah, I'm really curious about that, too. JJ, what do you think it's gonna be? Uh, Mikey, I think we have bigger problems. Holy turtles, JJ. What do you want from us? You're not welcome here at all. Mikey, we can't handle them alone. Daddy, Mommy. Oh, no, this is our end. Help us. Oh, what's going on here? Daddy. You stupid skibbity toilet. Come on, Dad. Why are you all bothering everyone again? Yeah. Stop bothering everyone. Dad, you're so cool. Wow. Thanks for saving us. Yay, thank you. Kids, don't thank me. It's my responsibility as your parent. Cool. Our daddy is the best. Yeah. Nice. You're overpraising me. You beat those toilets so easily. Yeah, it was incredible. So I can't just take them by surprise. Then I'll change my plan a bit by splitting up their loving family. They'll know the pain of skibbity toilets. The next day. Oh, good morning. I guess Mikey hasn't woken up yet. It's morning. Time to wake up. Oh, yesterday went great. And today I dreamed we were on a water slide as a family. Mikey, it's morning. Oh, JJ, good morning. Good morning. I dreamed you and I were boating in the park. Oh. Sounds cool, doesn't kids. it? Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, that's mom calling us. Uh, they must be having breakfast now and calling us to have breakfast too. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, we shouldn't keep them waiting for us. Yes, because it's frustrating when you wait too long for someone. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Good morning, mom and dad. Good morning. Oh, you're finally here. Well, it's great that you're already here. We have a little news for you. Well, we'll just go to the store now. It's actually an unusual store. Yeah, it's a toy store. Wow, are these toys really going to be bought for us? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Well, anything can happen. We'll be back soon. Behave yourselves. Oh, my God. Mom, can't we go with you? Oh, huh. I'm so curious. Hmm, maybe. No, you can't. But why? I want to ride in our cool car, too. It wouldn't be a surprise, would it, JJ? Hmm. Yeah, let's stay home. Uh, okay. Behave and keep the home in order. Ah, uh, JJ will be in charge today. Oh. Yeah, and you, Mikey, listen to your brother. Oh, my God. I'm up to this task you both have given me. That's great. Bye. Have a good trip. Bye-bye. We look forward to your return. Bring us lots of toys. We miss you already. Bye. Oh, JJ, we're gonna be alone all day today. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Hmm. I, for example, want to play all day today and do nothing. Do nothing at all? Yeah, especially as long as our parents aren't home. No one will punish us. But no one but me. Oh, huh? Have you forgotten already? I'm in charge of this house today. Okay, JJ. Oh, Mikey. Ah, uh, honey, I'm a little worried about our kids. Why are you so worried about them? Well, I'm just afraid something will happen to them while we're out. Well, they're not babies anymore. But how do I know they won't burn themselves on a hot stove? Oh, sounds to me like you're thinking too much of the bad stuff, dear. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, honey, try backing up. Oh, no, someone's blocking the path behind us, too. What are we going to do? Well, we gotta find out what's going on. Hmm, yeah. Hey, both of you, why are you blocking our way? Honey, don't yell. I think we're having a little trouble. Oh, well, that's not a problem. But there are only more of them around. Okay, now we're in trouble. Oh, uh, we surrender. We're just gonna fight back a little bit, okay? Darling. What? We've been having fun for four whole hours and haven't done anything useful around the house yet. So what, JJ? That's not good. We're having fun. We've got to end these games. Is it bad for two kids to have fun? Hmm. If not, why are you like this now? Because I've been given a responsible task and I'm sitting here playing. Calm down, JJ. We're kids. I know, but that doesn't mean uh you're expecting a call from someone. Uh No, maybe it's the parents calling us. Well, maybe. Oh, JJ, I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I feel bad about it, too. So, uh, hey, what can I do for you? <laughs> I don't need your help, but your parents... Parents will definitely need your help. Bring me one million dollars and I'll let them go. Sorry, kids. My strength wasn't enough. Don't listen to that old wizard. We'll manage somehow. 
Oh my God. JJ, we need to go to the police right now. But he said just bring the money. I'm sure he'll fool us. So what are you suggesting? We'll tell the police. No, that's not a good idea. Well, I'd rather just give him money. But you can't do that, JJ. Oh, Mikey, no, and no, you're wrong. Parents have been saving that money for so long. <laughs> Mikey. All right, JJ, I'm sick of you. Uh, do whatever you want. I'm going to the police. Uh, Mikey, I don't want to fight with JJ, you. JJ, you're already doing it. Mikey, wait. And if you choose to act irrationally, then do so. But I'm not going to do that. I just think it's a better option. Hmm, well, keep thinking that, and I'll go do the real saving of our parents. Oh, what? What did you say? Money alone won't solve the situation, but I'll give them real help. Unlike you, JJ. Oh my god, I'm 100% sure that money makes all the difference. That's why I think it's the only way I can save our parents. I don't want to take this money because our parents saved it for so long. But this situation is forcing me to do it. Ah, uh, those kitty pictures are so funny. I will definitely show them to my kids after work. They will be so thrilled. Hello, my name is Mikey. I have an urgent matter. What's your emergency? Oh, hmm. Uh, right. Come into the office and we'll talk about it. Come on, come on in. Thanks for letting me in, but I'm in trouble. What's the problem, kid? My parents have been kidnapped by a toilet and he's asking for a huge amount of money as ransom. Oh my god. Will you help me? It's been a long time since I've seen such a funny visitor. Get out of here, comedian. These are serious guys. Oh, hmm. I thought I'd come to the right place, but apparently I'll have to rescue them myself. Thank you for your service, officer. Oh, uh, isn't that kid lying? Oh, we should follow him just in case. After all, if he wasn't lying, it's pretty bad. I've been waiting for Mikey for quite some time now. I've already counted all the money in this suitcase for the sixth time, geez. Oh, but I can't wait for him any longer. <laughs> This is a nightmare, JJ. Mikey, what's wrong? That policeman at the station just laughed at our misfortune. I don't know what to do now. Oh my god. They're certainly not gonna help us. Uh. So I'm out of ideas. Mikey, now we can go in there with the money and save our parents. Do you have any money? Yes, I've counted all the money, and now this suitcase has exactly the amount we need. Hmm. All right, JJ, we'll do it your way. Great, then let's go. Oh, and I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I thought the police would help us. Apology accepted. <laughs> Everyone can make mistakes. It's okay, Mikey. Now let's hurry up. Three hours later. Are you sure we're going where we need to go? Oh, yeah. Wow, did we find some kind of passage to uh, a cave? This place looks so creepy. Yeah. But according to the coordinates that wizard gave us, this is the right place. Did he give you the coordinates? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. To be honest, I don't really want to go there anymore. Hmm. Maybe our parents have already managed to get out of there. No, I don't think that happened. Hmm, indeed, then they would have called us. Well... It's so dirty in here, by the way. Probably to divert attention from the most important thing. Oh, how did you know that? Well, uh, I didn't know that. It's just what most villains do. Hmm, what are you doing now? Well, I just pushed the button. Oh, my God. Oh, hmm. Mikey, get ready. We're about to see that evil Skibidi toilet. Uh, JJ, why don't we just fight him? That's all. No, Mikey, he's a wizard. He's stronger than us. Uh, but I still think the four of us can beat him. Hmm. JJ, the elevator's open. Oh my god! What is that? Mikey, look out! This is a nightmare. I don't want to go any further. JJ, I know it looks dangerous. What do you mean, just looks? Well... That's the danger. But JJ, if we don't get over this hurdle, our parents may never come back to us again. I realize that, but Mikey... No buts, JJ. Oh no. I'll do it, and you follow right behind me. Uh, okay. All right, JJ, hurry up and move on. Oh my god. See, it's not that hard. Let's move on. Let's do it. Hi Mikey, you are unbelievable. Oh, yeah, JJ, why don't you praise me after we survive here, okay? Uh... Okay, let's go. Oh, my God. Mikey, the blade was very close to you. JJ, it's under control. Let's just get it over with. Mikey, don't scare me like that again, okay? Okay, okay. Phew. Let's move on. There may be more challenges ahead of us. Oh, no, I don't want any more trouble. Huh, shall we? Oh, no. Don't worry about it, JJ. It's gonna be awesome. But, Mikey... We'll save everyone now. Oh! Then we'll have a party. Uh, okay. Wow, what brave kids they turned out to be. Uh, well, yeah, we're very brave. JJ, look at the situation our parents are in right now. Oh, my God. God, Mom and Dad. Where's my money, huh? Here, Mr. Wizard. We've brought you the right amount of money. Oh, yeah, back off. Oh, my God. Stupid kid. But I'm not stupid, am I? <laughs> oh, hmm. We gave you the money. Give us our parents back. No, no, no. I'll only let one of them go. Wait, what? Either your father or your mother. Wait, I'm only supposed to pick one? It's your choice. JJ, don't listen to it. But Mikey. Say you'll save our mom. But then what happens to our dad? And I'll save Daddy in a big moment. And yeah, that's a good idea, Mikey. Then we too. can save everyone. I can handle it, JJ. Count on me. Uh, oh. I'm sick of waiting. So which one have you chosen? Um, we decided that we would save our best and most loving mom. <laughs> Your father is going to die. Oh, no. Mommy, don't worry. It's going to be okay. Okay, let's go. Wizard, you've always been good to us. What have we ever done to you? Haha, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. Daddy, hold on. I'll get you out. Oh, my God. Mikey, can you handle it? Yes, I can do it. You shouldn't have saved him. I will destroy your entire family. 
me. Oh. Uh, what's going on? Please don't move or resist. It's that officer. You're under arrest for threats, extortion, and other Family, the police are helping us. We're saved. That's be great. In a maximum security prison by now. And as for you kids, forgive my negligence. I'll be more diligent in my work. Nice. I told you the police would help us. I was right. Ha, huh, okay, I agree with you. Are you both okay? Yeah. I hope we don't see that awful wizard for a long time. Mom, we're hopeful too. Uh, well, that's the way it's going to be because he's going to get more than one year in jail for such atrocities. Oh, wow. What's the approximate sentence he'll get? Hmm, if he's lucky, the minimum is 10 years. Wow, that's a lot. Mom, Dad, I'm so glad you're okay. Next time, we'll all go together. We'll buy you both lots and lots of toys to thank you for saving us. Cool. Huh, just let's make sure that when we go together, we're not absolutely all taken hostage, okay? Huh, uh-huh. That's for sure. We're lucky it ended well. Two hours later. This is my home and my TV. Oh, huh, cheese mouse. JJ. And also, this is my favorite wife in the kitchen. Lunch is almost ready. Cool. Could you come to the kitchen and help me a little? Uh. There's not much work to be done here. Let's go. Coming, honey. Oh, one of these days, there's going to be a momentous occasion. Here, there's bacon and potatoes cooking. Wow, you're so good. What am I supposed to do? Make sure it doesn't burn. Uh, how do you do that? JJ, it's simple. Hmm. Just make sure the food doesn't burn. Oh, uh, what? Oh, okay. Turn off the stove after 10 minutes and you'll be fine. Oh, okay. I can do that. Great. I'm going to get some rest. Yes, I agree. You need a lot of rest in your position. Yeah, it's a little hard and I'm a little tired, but it's okay. Cool. Oh, my head is spinning. Uh, honey? Honey, what's wrong? If you're so worried about the food, it's okay. I'll do it. Wake up. Hmm. Oh, no. She's not waking up. I gotta get help before it's too late. Okay, what's the ambulance number? Uh, I think that's right. Hello, you've reached the emergency service. Oh, hello, my pregnant wife fainted. She needs help. We'll be there in 30 seconds. Great, we're really looking forward to seeing you. Honey, just bear with me for a little while. I've already called an ambulance, so you'll get help soon. I'm going to go see the doctors. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I hope you'll be okay. Where's the ambulance? They said they'd be here real quick. Uh, oh, there's an ambulance coming. Cool. Hello? Hello, I'm so glad you came so quickly. Well, it's our job to get there as soon as possible in emergency situations. Wow. So where's our patient? My wife is in the house. Let's go hurry. I understand. If anything, don't panic. Oh. It's too early to talk about any problems. Uh, okay. So where is she exactly? She's in the kitchen. When you enter the house, turn right, and then you will see for yourself. Oh, yeah, I see her. Oh, I hope we're not too late. Let's see. Doctor, tell me, what's wrong with her? Hmm, tell me, when is she due? She's due any day now. Oh, it's not just a fainting spell. She's in labor. She needs to be taken to the hospital right away. Oh, my God. Oh, I, uh, I just have to go with her. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. She'll be fine. Uh, she'll be in the hospital for a while, and when she recovers, she'll come back to you. But how will she be able to get there on her own? She's bound to have a hard time. She can do it. Oh, doctor, I don't understand. Let me go with her, that's all. You can't. She's just so fragile. Hmm. Em, even though her hand is strong, I'm sometimes even scared to argue with her. Then she can manage without you. But it doesn't matter. Honored, your wife is in a very unstable situation right now. Oh, no. So we should not hesitate to help her. But, doctor... No buts. I've already explained explain to you the danger of the situation. Uh, Just stay home and wait for your wife. She'll be back soon. All right, doctor. I hope you can help her. Tell her I'm really looking forward to having her home. It's going to be okay, JJ. I should be happy. I'm going to be a daddy. Three hours later. Oh, it's been so long. I can't get food down my throat. Why has it been so long? Hmm. Who's that? JJ. Oh, is it her? JJ, it's me. Open up. Honey, oh, it's you. Yes, I'm back and I'm not alone. Hmm. Congratulations, JJ. You and I have a baby. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Hi, my name is Mikey. Hi. And you're my dad, aren't you? Um. That's a question you should be asking your mom. Mom, is that my dad? Honey, you sure that's my baby, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Honey, he's a TV. Oh, yeah. I'm a talking TV. I don't know how that happened. Hmm. So what if I'm still pretty cool? But it's definitely your baby. Oh, what? You can be sure of that. Oh. It's great. It's cool. I'm cool. Oh, my God. Maybe you're hungry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm incredibly hungry. Uh. I'll go get some food for him right away. Wait for me here. Uh, okay. I'm like a street dog. I'm starving. Oh, my God. Honey, please hurry up. JJ, don't yell so loud or Mikey might get scared. The great Mikey fears nothing but starvation. Huh. Okay. Here's a bite to eat. Wow. You're incredibly hungry. How do you eat like that with no hands? Hands. I'm shocked and delighted at the same time. Uh-huh. Okay, why don't we show him his room? Oh, right. It's about time. Uh, what's a room? Oh, uh, well, you'll see. Uh, encouraging. JJ, help. Mikey, when we get there, you'll be surrounded by the most interesting things. What is it? Toys. Let's go look at some toys, shall we? Oh, I don't know what it is, but I really want to see it. Oh, then let's go quickly. Yay! Hmm, we made this room medium, not for a boy or a girl. Hope Mikey likes it. All right, I won't speculate. Mikey, what colors do you like? Oh. I know what colors are, and I really like green. There's a lot of green. And also just love pink and red. JJ, come on, let's get in there. Well... Well, Mikey, this is your room. There's a lot of space and a lot of toys to play with. Oh, hmm. We really hope you like it here. <gasps> this place 
place is so cool. Mikey, I have a little present for you. Whoa, uh, what's that? It's a green dinosaur. Mm. Thank you for being with us. By the way, that dinosaur is your favorite color. Daddy, this is so unexpected. That dinosaur looks so cool. Thank you. Thanks to you. Hee hee hee. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna play with this dinosaur all the time and carry it around with me. He likes huh. it. That's a wonderful gift, JJ, but we gotta go. We're not saying goodbye. Get settled in. We'll see you soon. Okay, okay. Welcome to the family. Honey, and yet why is our son a TV boy? Oh, um... I'm just curious. Well, JJ, I told you I don't know why our son is a TV and not a speaker. Hmm. I wish he was the speaker, but please, let's just accept him for who he is. Honey, wait for me. The next day. Okay, why don't we go for a walk? Wow, that's a great idea, JJ. Cool! I say we go to the park because it's so beautiful. Yes, and I think Mikey would enjoy walking in the woods, too. Yeah, but, huh, we gotta wake up that sleepyhead first. That's for sure. I'm certainly glad he's sleeping a lot, but it's noon. Time to wake up. Yeah! Oh, JJ, look at him. He's sleeping so sweetly. Huh, yeah, he looks cute, but it's time to wake up. Oh, huh! Good morning, Mikey. I mean, it's good afternoon. Wow, is it morning already? Yes, of course. I had such a great dream about us going out as a family. It was so cool. Really? Yes, it was so much fun. I'd love to go out more. Well, you're in luck. And we were just about to go for a walk in the park. Oh, wow, I love this idea. I really want to go for a walk in the park. Cool. Mikey, do you know what's in the park? Of course he knows what's in there, JJ. No, I don't know. Uh. Oh, what a beautiful baby. Soon you'll be at my mercy. In general, the nature uh, there is... Uh, who's that guy over there? Uh, what guy? I'm not waiting for anyone. Uh... Oh, uh, hmm, interesting. Uh, Mikey, but there's no one there. Mom, Dad, I'm telling you I saw someone strange. Oh, huh, okay, this has to be a joke. Yeah. Okay, Mikey, I get the joke. Oh, uh, huh, I must have just imagined it. Hmm. So you're saying we're going for a walk in the woods? Yes, this should be fun. So let's not waste a minute uh, and head straight there. Yeah, I agree. Time to hit the road or it'll be dark by the time we get there, huh? Come on, JJ, we don't talk that much. Mikey, do you want to walk or drive? Uh, how far do we have to walk to this park? Well, it's not that long. Then I want to walk. Great. Then we'll all walk to the park and then we'll walk there too. Yay. Oh no, my feet are going to hurt. It's okay. You'll get over it. Well, but if Mikey's feet get sore, then we're in trouble. Don't worry. I can handle it. Really? Well, yes, I can make it all the way. I like to walk. Cool. But Mikey, let's make a deal that if your legs start hurting, you, you don't have long to enjoy the company of these parents. You can't run away from me, kid. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll tell you, uh, oh, there he is again. Oh, uh, what? Mikey, are you kidding us again? No, there was some uncle. Uh, hmm, as expected, there's no one here. But I saw someone standing there saying scary words. Oh! The joke must have failed the first time, and now he decided to add a little fear to the joke. Mikey, you're such a joker. Huh, apparently it was just a passerby. Let's go for a walk. Yeah! Because I'm already burning with curiosity. Let's go! Hurry up, hurry up. Honey, we're on our way. Oh, finally. By the way, I was wondering, Mikey, do you like horses? Well, if I knew what horses were, I'd answer you. Oh, well, Horses are the kind of animals you can ride. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh, I love this park so much. This is the park where we first met your mom. A very iconic place for our family. So cool. When can I get married? I want a beautiful wife like my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Mikey. You want to get married already? First, find a girl you like. Then you can marry her from the age of 18. Do you want to get married already? Of course I do. I'm an adult. I was born one day ago. I'll be old soon and I still don't have a wife. Wow, you're growing up too fast, Mikey. Or is this another one of your jokes, like with those skibidi toilets? No, I've actually seen them. Yeah, yeah, Mikey, we believe you. Although Although that's not funny at all anymore. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, whatever. Are you even going to give me pocket money? Your parents' Life lives will come days. to an end. Ah, money for and we're gonna take you in. Oh, ah, we're coming for you. <laughs> That's why you need to give all your money to me. Oh, it's that skibidi toilet. He's hiding behind you again. Turn around. His jokes again. I don't like it. And where's that skibidi toilet? Did he run away again? Stop doing that, Mikey. But he threatened you. He also wanted to take me to his place. It's true. Mikey, that's enough. These are really bad jokes. Why don't you believe me? Is it because I'm small? Hey, let's not fight. Let's keep walking. Okay, let's go. Those jokes didn't hurt anyone. I'm being bullied. Never mind. By the way, there's a stable nearby. You can ride horses for a small price. Can I go for a ride? There's a pony for Mikey, too. This is the place. 60 minutes with a horse costs one diamond. Seems cheap. I'd like to see all the horses, but I've already married one horse. What are you talking about? Where's Mikey, by the way? Uh, I don't know. He was just here. Maybe he went home and took offense. JJ, we can't leave him alone. He was born yesterday. What if something happens to him? Let's go find him. If he is truly offended by us, he can only be at home. JJ, let's go. I don't like the fact that he disappeared. It's all for a reason. Oh, look. Is there a note on our door? I don't like this. Maybe the mailman glued it on. There's something written on it. Not this is our child. Ha ha ha. They kidnapped our baby. The same skibbidis that Mikey was talking about. P.S. Greetings from Skibidi Toilets. Oh my god. Oh my god. This can't be happening. Mikey warned us about them. JJ, what do we do? 
Darling, calm down. Most importantly, don't panic. What do you mean, don't panic? Some toilets stole our son. What do we do? I know where those Skibidi toilets live. We'll go there together and get our son back. They're gonna regret what they did. Pack up and let's go. Two hours later. And here's their hideout. This is where Mikey's being held. We'll ask them nicely first. If they don't open up to us, we're gonna be very angry. Such a big house. This building looks like the lair of some bandits who steal and do bad things. Yeah, I agree. Knock, knock, knock. Open up. We need to talk. Open quickly. Otherwise, you'll be worse off. Give us our son. Fast. I'm gonna tear this place apart. Oh, they're opening. Oh, <laughs> hello. Who are you? Hello. You stole our son. Give him back nicely, Oregon. You'll regret it. Give me my baby back or I'll rip your head off. Yeah! What? What, son? <laughs> we have no one? Yeah! Get out and don't come back! <laughs> Wait, come back! We didn't finish the conversation. They're not gonna give us Mikey. JJ, what do we do? Honey, get away from the door. It's about to get hot in here. I didn't come here empty-handed. I assumed they wouldn't just give us Mikey, so I prepared myself. I have a bazooka and a machine gun in my pocket. I'm gonna blow this gate to smithereens. Kaboom, baby! Let's give them a sweet life. Look how they're making a fuss. <laughs> They'll be sorry they stole our Mikey. What? Who are you? What are you doing? They have guns. Run. All run. What a horror. This is for my Mikey. Eat bullets, you stupid toilets. Like this. This is the fate of anyone who threatens my family. JJ, you're so cool. All that's left is to find Mikey amongst all the strange machinery. What were they doing here anyway? I don't know. Who can even understand these toilets? Don't expect anything good from them. Whoa, a basement? Yes, Mikey could be in there. Let's go down there. Yeah, let's go. You go first. I'm right behind you. I hope Mikey is okay. Did you know I have my own personal dinosaur? Mikey, are you there? Are you alive? What are you doing here? <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Hey, we've been having a little fun. But he's so funny. Look, he's bald too. Are we leaving already? Um, yeah, Mikey, we better get out of here soon. Right now. We've played so little. Okay, bye, baby. It was great playing with you. Bye-bye, Mikey. See you next time. Bye-bye, baby. Oh, my God, what have we done? I met the toilet Skibidi, and he invited me to visit. I had planned to come home myself in the evening, but you were quicker. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Mikey. Yeah. Wow, what happened here? Why is this place ruined? It's kind of weird. Um, you know... We played with them a little bit, too. We had a lot of fun, too, in a way. Uh, yeah, Mikey. We've been playing around a little bit, and we've been having a lot of fun. We messed up a little bit, but that's okay, I guess. You guys really know how to rock. Awesome, I want to do that, too. Maybe later. And you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments how you like to have fun. I hope you don't play like we do. I love you all. Bye, everyone.